What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome back to another Builder Base Let's Play episode where we have built the multi mortar that ever so important defense at Builder Hall 5. We're going to show you why it is so important. So let's dive into some attacks. You can see we have the bomber upgrading as well to get him to level 8. So checking out this first base, DW the Great, the multi mortar is in there and definitely going to cause us a little bit of trouble. Just trying to scout around and see how we might want to take this base for the two star. I'm thinking, hmm, we kind of need to get into that multi mortar pretty quickly to get that down. And then we might have a chance with the giants and archers. We already have them cooked up. So I'm kind of thinking that we go for this strategy. If we can funnel in towards the multi mortar, we might be able to take that down reasonably quickly. But the clock tower is there and it is a high HP building. So we're going to have to get. Let's go ahead and put one archer here, maybe three on the clock tower to get that down pretty quickly. And then we'll get a giant in. Let's go ahead and get it in now because we need that distracted for the archers so that they don't go down. And we do need the archers to get onto that multi mortar relatively quickly so that the giants here are basically, they're going to distract for the archers. But they're only so close guys the multi mortar is then going to lock onto the archers as it has we've luckily managed to get that down let's get a giant down over into this area because the archers at the bottom here are going to get locked on by that archer tower pretty soon i think we're going to be good for the builders hall here guys the archers are onto it so that's working pretty nicely so far looking good for the two star so really the multi mortar I know I'm trying to bring this episode to showcase to you how important it is, but this guy had it right on the edge of the base. I mean, it was quite easy to get the archers in there, take that down, use the giants to distract, but you really have to be careful that when you bring the giants in, you don't bring them in too close to the multi mortar because it will be within that fire range where the multi mortar, mortar can't fire. And then from there, it's just going to lock onto your archers. That's why I brought them in super quickly to try and get the multi mortar down quick so that it didn't have much of a chance to lock onto the archers. And it worked quite nicely. Looks like we're just short of that 70% two star, but I'm quite happy with that 68%. Let's see if it does indeed get us the victory. The opponent still attacking. Looks like he's on 50%. But with only the battle machine left, he's going to walk around from the top there. So this is a definite victory. Our multi mortar is in the center of the base, so doing work there. The archer's not really doing too much. And at this point, it is a definite win. The battle machine walking right into all of them heavy damage defenses. So quite a good attack to start off this episode and showcase to you exactly why you need the multi mortar at Builder Hall 5. Let's get straight into the next one. Try and get our three attacks down. So in this one, multi mortar is a little bit deeper into the base. Definitely harder to get to. The crusher there as well is not the easiest to get to. I feel like we kind of need the battle machine on this attack in order to tank for the multi mortar. It's definitely very difficult. There's quite a few defenses and buildings, sorry, on the outside that we can take. So I'm thinking that we even take a set of minions and just take three giants actually, just to tank for the buildings at the end. So what I'm going to do is try and come in where we can snipe off with a few minions don't want to use my archers too heavily on the outside just because with that ability where they're you know sneaky and are invincible you can take out the defenses rather easily so that sneaky tesla on the side is going to put a little bit of a spanner into the works going to put a few minions down on the bottom here because you can see that archer is attracted onto my minion we just about keep the other minion alive which is very very good and it just means that we can get a little bit extra damage. And really what I want is the archers to lock onto this Tesla. But I don't think it's quite going to work. I'm not quite sure where else to come from in terms of this base. Because we really need to try and get the multi mortar. So what I'm going to do is maybe put... Let's go ahead and put two minions here to get this process started. Once I, I kind of wanted the minions to lock onto that elixir storage nearer to the Tesla to get that down. And then let's go ahead and use some of the archers. Wasn't quite expecting that bomb, so that definitely put a few spanners in the works. Put that giant in in order to distract for the archers and that multi mortar. Hopefully they can get that Tesla down pretty quickly. I'm not sure where them archers took all of that damage from, but they did. 
Only three archers, remember, so just trying to bring the archers in there. We've got them locked onto the multi mortar, but we really need that down. The archers here on the bottom taking a lot of damage, but it worked quite nicely. They managed to get that multi mortar down. The giants definitely going down. I feel like we just needed that extra set of giants. Going to get the one star here, but it doesn't look like we're going to have enough force to get through and take the builder's hall so unfortunately it's also going to be a low percentage one star only 52 percent i don't feel there's too much more we could have done on that base what we definitely need is the battle machine check that out 66 percent all barbarians but this guy did have the battle machine and again that is one thing that once you get to builder's hall five when you get the battle machine you can use him as a bit of a kill squad guys in order to distract the multi-mortar in order to get in there and take down some of the defenses that you really need down this guy does a good job in terms of surrounding the base here with the barbarians didn't have any sort of strategy to get the two star there was no way he was getting the builders hall here but as you saw the one star is definitely a viable strategy and clearly worked against me there now this is a very strange base i mean there's plenty of gaps where clearly there are defences, um, traps, sorry. The air bomb at the bottom we can definitely take out, and then it's just how much we can take out with baby dragons. Can we realistically get the two star here is the question, and honestly, I'm not actually sure that we can. So what I think I might do is kind of go for the high percentage one star here. Hmm. Let's, let's go ahead and try and get that air bomber down at the bottom. Then we can really try and get in towards the archer tower here. So whilst the archer tower is distracted, I want to get a few other baby dragons in. Unfortunately, the air bomber at the bottom there didn't go down. Let's get that Tesla down as quick as we can. Probably should have put a baby dragon in on that. So the archer tower is down. Going ahead and trying to just move around the base here to where we can snipe off buildings. Try and get a high percentage one star, basically. Not quite going to plan here. The baby dragons coming within range of each other. Just about to get that multi mortar down, which it does. 55% looks like we're just going to fall short of the 60% here because the, art, the baby dragons are within range of the firecrackers. Will this one? No, not quite. So 59% one star again. I'm not too sure how we could have gone... Uh, oh, it is a draw. Wow. Can you believe it, guys? This is going to be an extra long episode. I hope you have your coffee ready with you to stay awake for this because it's late at night here in the UK and, well, I can't really go on drawing and losing and going for the high percentage one star. We really need the battle machine. So this guy, again, does the exact same as me. Didn't really have a plan for the two star. Just went for the high percentage one star. And what are the odds... Let's come back, guys, when we have enough troops. Seven gems. Do we do we go for it, guys? Let's go ahead, actually, and build... Let's go for the second set of firecrackers. That's 15 minutes. What we really need is 900,000 elixir in order to get the battle machine here. Let's come back when we have enough for this next attack. Okay guys, so we are back, we have our troops built up, let's get into another attack and hopefully start to bring you some victories in this episode. Again for this guy, he has the multi mortar on the outside, so let's see if we can take advantage of that. I'm thinking very similar to the first one, as you can see he's built the battle machine, so that gives him a good heads up in terms of the base and winning this attack. So he has the battle machine against us, again very similar here. Getting a couple... Oh, I wasn't expecting that Tesla. Let's get a giant in. He's going to distract for the multi mortar there anyway because we're not going to put any other archers... Oh, I thought this gold storage would have went down by now. That's very, very unfortunate. Hopefully the archers can get that down and then we can... There we are. The archers are straight onto the mortar there. Let's get a couple of giants in this area to protect the archers over on the left here because a lot of our archers have gone to the left. We really want them to funnel into the builder's hall here. I was too busy, distracted, trying to get to the multi mortar that we kind of lost a bit of focus on the funnel. We do have a good group of archers on the right hand side here which might just about get into the middle to get the builder's hall but unfortunately I think we've kind of lost track in terms of too busy trying to get the multi mortar down that we're actually not going to get the two star here so that kind of happens guys people do make mistakes clearly my fault there was that 
I used too many archers trying to get the multi-mortar and didn't get my funnel created, but we do get the victory somehow. On this earth, we beat our opponent, Bugler, who uses a mixture of giants and archers. So he puts the giants in, trying to take down that brand new archer tower we've started to build. But he puts all of the giants in together, and check that out. They walk straight into his spring tra trap, which is fantastic. Battle Machine tanking on the other side, but you can see the multi mortar picking off the little troops at the side there. And that's what it is fantastic for. 54% one star, and... Wow, one more attack and we could be done, guys. Let's come back once we have our troops built up. Okay, guys, so we are ready to go. We have our troops built up. Let's see if we can get this next attack to be a big success. We have the multi mortar pretty centralized on this one. Going to be good for picking off our troops there. Crusher at the bottom here as well. Hmm. Can we make a little bit of a push here in terms of... What I think we might do, how many giants do we need? Let's take one set of minions for the top here. There's quite a few buildings that we might be able to snipe with minions as long as there's not a Tesla there. I'm thinking if we push from the left-hand side here with the archers and giants, we might even be able to get in there without the crusher doing too much damage. The multi mortars out the way so it would distract from the archers and it would still be firing to the giants. Then we might be able to sneak the two star. I think that's probably our best bet, guys. Let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Just going to see where this minion goes. I think, yeah, he's going to the bottom. So let's put one on the gold storage. Then we'll get one up in the north here. Trying to really stay out of the way of that firecracker. But get a decent amount of percent. I think we should be good where we are. As long as the guard post troops don't come out to the side too much. Which I don't think they will. I do want to kind of put a minion in on the right hand side here, but I'm just waiting patiently in case, in case I can get a better percent at the top here. So this is working quite nicely. We're already up to about 25%. I think that's about as good as we're going to get here, guys, in terms of sniping off buildings. Just trying to get the archer there at the top. Will this minion get the archer and the elixir storage it doesn't so let's go ahead and use that minion at the top there then we're going to push in with archers from the side here so just a couple in towards these buildings to make a little bit of a funnel and then oh there is a bomb there guys let's go ahead and get the giants in then we can start pushing i just hope my hope is that we've brought enough archers for this. I'm not entirely sure if we have. I really want them to come into the base here. Mega Bomb has gone off with all of the giants. That is pretty good. They're going to go down pretty quick. So we need the archers in there to help get these defenses down and help get the builder's hall. Oh, the multi mortar. That's the title of this episode and why it is so powerful. We've got the one star. We have one archer. Onto the Builder's Hall, the multi mortar just missed it. Can this epic archer save the day? Oh, and the Giants got to the Crusher too quickly. The theory was there, guys. I just feel like it didn't come off. And honestly, we got the victory. Wow, I'm just not sure how we could have corrected that attack. If you've made it to the end of the video, make sure to drop me a comment below. How would you have altered that last attack? Would you have taken only one set of uh, giants and two sets of archers in order to get a little bit deeper into the base and hopefully get that builder's hall? We certainly had enough for the percent taking the minions for the top. And you can see on this one, archers on the outside. But then once the giants are in, check out the multi mortar. It just picks off them archers so, so quickly. And that is the power of the multi mortar. Check it out. It is fantastic, guys. That's why you need it at Builder Hall 5. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans. And until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.